Hey, how's it going everyone? Today we're gonna talk about microphones. I love microphones because I'm a big music fan, a big music nerd. I'm gonna talk about five microphones that are pretty basic for video that a lot of people use for different types of setups or different types of sounds. Um, the five microphones that I'll be talking about today are the built-in iPhone microphone, the built-in Sony a7 III microphone, the Rode Lavalier Go microphone, which I'm using right now, the Apogee Mic Plus microphone, and the Shure SM7B microphone. All of these microphones serve different purposes. They all have different types of sounds that come out of them whenever you choose to mess around. And uh, it all depends on your setup and what you want it to sound like and what you have available to be the most creative person you could possibly be in any given moment with uh, whatever you're shooting. All right, right now the sound that you're getting is off of the camera, the Sony a7 III. It's not a great microphone. I actually wish that they would just go ahead and take it off of the camera because most people end up going with some kind of external setup. So let's get rid of that sound because I personally don't like it. Um, let's go on to the next one. Now what you're hearing is the Rode Wireless Go. You could get this at any electronic store near you. A lot of stuff is kind of scarce right now, but you can order one and eventually get one. I like this setup a lot. It's what I've been using uh, the last two videos now. Uh, the first one was actually a different setup that I'll talk about in a second, but it's a really, really good setup. It's $200 or so. If I could give you anything, I would say definitely get uh, the external lavalier mic setup so you don't have this uh, square box hanging. And sometimes it just kind of moves and it kind of rustles up against jackets. Another couple of things that you can grab in mind, it goes to work right out the box. There isn't a whole lot of setup. You just turn them on, hook it up to your camera, and you have sound. You, you just start recording, shooting. So I really like that. I, I think it keeps uh, the creativity flowing. Does that make any sense? And this, in the box, it comes with the receiver and transmitter. The receiver is on me, the transmitter is on the camera. Two windshields, which I don't really use, they literally just pop off. They're inconvenient more than anything. If I really had a case where I needed to use these outdoors that had a lot of wind that particular day, I would probably wrap a sock around it or something heavy and uh, more secure than what uh, these included windshields come with. And after that, it comes with two USB-C cables to charge your... Uh, transmitter and receiver. They don't come with the actual uh, wall outlets. You would need to figure something else out, but I'm sure a lot of you have a couple of those just laying around. And it comes with what is an SC cable. Uh, it's the cable that's used to connect the receiver to your camera. I also bought an additional road cable that uh, would help connect it, uh, connect your receiver, any iPhone or most cameras that take the standard 3.5 millimeter uh, connection. The last thing that it comes with is a pretty nice little pouch. I like carrying cases in electronics, so I use it, and uh, it's a welcome thing. I, I appreciate Rode for doing that. Thank you, Rode. Another thing that I will say about the Rode Lavalier Go is that it is an omnidirectional microphone, at least what is built into the transmitter. So you're going to get sound from every single direction. It, does, it doesn't matter where this box is actually facing. It could go in any direction, and it'll pick up sound from everywhere, which is good because these things do tend to slip or move or adjust and you don't want to miss that sound because you don't, you can't go back to these kind of things, you know? All right, now what you're hearing is the Apogee Mic Plus. It's actually sitting to my left right here next to the laptop hooked up to my uh, iPhone, so it's capturing the sound. It's a good mic, it's a condenser microphone. Um, I also believe it's omnidirectional, quote me if I'm wrong, but uh, it's good for its own purpose. I used it in the first video on how to make a michelada and uh, it served its purpose, but I, I looked for something better and something more focused to the sound that I was um, capturing. In this case, it's my voice, same here. Um, it depends where you put it, where you place it, and what type of sound you're capturing. I think it sounds great for uh, live instruments if you're gonna use an acoustic guitar. I think it has its own musical tone. I don't think the Lavalier Go is musical at all. So I would not use a lavalier for any music related stuff. It comes with a ton of cables. So it comes with a USB-C cable, which I use it sometimes uh, connected to my iPad. Uh, it would also work on laptops, obviously. A USB type A cable, which I actually use to connect uh, into my uh, laptop from the... Which I actually use to connect into my laptop from the microphone. And it also comes with the tripod, which you saw, and then a microphone stand adapter. You could probably hear this better if I'm facing directly at it, and it sounds more fuller and concentrated in this fashion. But 
it's not the setup for everyone because like I'm showing you here, I don't exactly have a table in front of me to put up. Otherwise I probably would and it would improve the quality or the sound that's coming out of it. This is what the iPhone microphone sounds like just with voice. I am pleased with it. I think at this point I wouldn't go back to it unless I really had to, but I think it's a good quality microphone that is built into you know, cell phones that a lot of us have. Another thing about the iPhone camera microphone is that you can't point it. It is what it is. Once you have your camera set up, once your camera is pointing towards your subject, towards whatever you're recording, you can't redirect the sound that you want to capture. The, the microphones are what, what they are. They're facing in a certain direction and that's what it is. You can't really pick and choose. You're either recording the video well or you're recording the audio well. Um, it's a major downfall of this setup. All right, let's talk about the last setup. This is the Shure SM7B. It's a great microphone. You've seen it everywhere. It, it's been on Howard Stern. It's been on the Joe Rogan podcast. It's been on a, a number of podcasts. Very, very popular microphone. It's by far the most involved to set up and there's good reason to it. I think it gives you the best sound. This is the sound of radio and it's just well lauded. It's a dynamic microphone. It's a um, cardioid pattern, so it rejects outside unless you're directly in front of it, which is great, you know? And it really booms or amps up your natural voice sound. Now, it's the most cumbersome because you usually need one, two, maybe three people to set it up and to monitor it. For Shure SM7B or for any microphones, you're also gonna need some kind of interface, preferably also headphones and um, XLR cable to connect from your interface to your microphone and whatever your capturing device is. In this case, I'm gonna uh, record right into my uh, laptop. So let's connect this beast. Boom! All right, so this is the sound of the SM7B microphone connected to an Apogee Duet interface going directly into my laptop. Uh, like I said, the sound is better. The sound is great, even, I would say. Um, crispy. Mm, baby. But it is a lot to handle, especially if you're a one person uh, gig, one person setup. I don't know, it, it's it's a cumbersome process. Well worth it, you know, if you have another two, three bodies to help you along the way, but it, it's just awfully involved. If you want the best setup, if you're going for that look, I think this microphone for podcast, for video, is more for the look than it is for the sound. I also think this microphone is very, very musical. It's the microphone used in Michael Jackson's Thriller. If you could look back into that time, into that era, and hear him running his voice through this, um, the technology was a bit different. There, there were compressors that weren't necessarily as loud or limiters that weren't as loud, but the sound, the sound that was captured in those times through this microphone is just great. You know, it's a classic album. But this microphone is tried and proven. If you can't get good sound out of this, you're probably doing something wrong where you need to up your game with uh, editing or with something uh, outside of this setup. So I'll do, uh, this is what the um, SM7B sounds like. And then this is what the Rode Lavalier Go sounds like. The Shure SM7B, the Rode Lavalier Go. Let's do a couple more here for the grand finales. I realize I have a lot going on here, but this is the Shure SM7B microphone. This is the Rode Lavalier Go microphone. This is the iPhone microphone built in. Now let's keep going back and forth. Shure SM7B. Rode Lavalier Go built in microphone. Yeah. Now, sound wise. Another thing that you uh, should keep in mind with professional microphone setups, um, some, of pod some podcasters um, aren't aware of distance or proximity effect with microphones, but it's definitely a real thing how um, much you want to present that sound uh, at a given time. Now, this is about uh, six, maybe eight inches away from my voice, but you can create different types of effects depending on how close you are. Uh, to uh to the sound at other times like in radio setups if you get closer to the mic i think it has that cl uh, i think it has that signature morning radio uh weather sound good morning everybody it is a cool 52 degrees outside with a high of 78 degrees today 
the Eisenhowers backed up all the way to Mannheim. It'll take you about 50 minutes to get to the old post office. I always feel like uh, <laughs> I always feel like uh, the radio voice has to have a little bit of the uh, kind of like pilots too. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're sorry, but uh, we're having a couple of mechanical delays. Uh, please try to keep in mind uh, that the peanut and uh, combinations are all free. Now, uh, we're projecting uh, about a 30 minute delay to uh, LAX airport tonight. Uh... All right, let's put this to the side. After wearing this for a good hour or two, this even gets involved, you know, you, you start getting ear sweat, you know? Ugh. Who wants ear sweat? At the end of the day, it's really up to you what you choose to get and uh, where you choose to start. I uh, suggest if you wanna get into anything with anything, uh, creative wise, you just go ahead and start with whatever you have. But um, I also think that creativity comes from different things that, that are presented to you. I think having uh, this lavalier that helps me just completely forget that I'm, I'm capturing something helps me just focus more on the video end of it and uh, try to always push for more creativity and uh, go with the tools that you have at the time. Upgrade when it, it, it's curious to you. Am I just ranting? All right, that should be it for this video. You saw the five microphones. Uh, remember to be kind to yourself and be kind to one another, all right? Deuces. Bored at home. I'm bored at home, I'm bored. Bored at home. I'm bored at home, I'm bored. Bored at home. I'm bored at home, I'm bored. Bored at home. I'm bored at home, I'm bored.